Hey, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here to a Tuesday night. It is the Earth Master here about 8.21 p.m. California time, June 25th, 2024. Latest activity here shows uh, some movement on the west coast here, the Big Island of Hawaii, with a 3.2 earthquake coming in about 44 kilometers deep here on the west side. Uh, over here across the Kilauea Volcano, really nothing of major change here yet. Still seeing some inflation going on and, of course, uh, kind of watching that for sure. Uh, down in Southern California, got a couple small earthquakes here just around the Salton City area down in the uh, extreme southern end of California. San Jacinto Fault Zone showing some activity uh, tonight as well. Also a couple smaller quakes scattered out and about through the Los Angeles area. We also did have some movement here on the um, creeping section of the San Andreas Fault here. A 3.2 coming in this afternoon. Bay Area, aside from some smaller quakes there, really not a whole lot going on. Uh, over here along the Cascadia Subduction Zone, a 3.0 coming in earlier. A real quick glance here at the trimmer map here tonight along the Cascadia shows 342 epicenters of trimmer here across the Cascadia Subduction Zone area. Uh, I want to share a little article here with you guys real quick that was put out uh, about a undersea volcano, well, seamount, right, way out there in the Pacific, just off the Oregon coast here, the uh, uh, Axial Seamount uh, is located about 300 miles west of Astoria, Oregon, and a mile under the ocean. Uh, it has erupted three times in the recent past 25 years here, and it looks like it's starting to uh, gear up again in terms of inflation going on. Now, this is not a, vol a volcano that's going to produce a, a mega displacement of water. This is basically something that's just, just going to... Uh, spill over a little bit and create some new seafloor uh, with some lava underneath the ocean there. But uh, I'll leave this article here for you guys to check out. It's, uh, it's a ways out there. And if you look, this is the uh, Axial Seamount located here in a region that sees the separation of the seafloor. This is a divergent boundary out here on the uh, north of the Blanco Fracture Zone here. So this is way out there. There's numerous seamounts. But uh, it is an interesting article uh, to take note of and to read if you guys got a few minutes. I'll leave that in the description video of this update. Uh, looking out and about further across the states here, general movement across Texas, really nothing major going on across the eastern portion of the country. And uh, down on the extreme southern end here of the globe, five-pointer coming in from late last night. Also uh, another earthquake there this morning, 5.0 in the... Uh, the uh, Falkland Islands area that is um, well west here of the subduction zone. But we have been seeing quite a bit of subduction zone activity here across south, across the South Sandwich Trench. Uh, and, of course, that's adding some further strain upstream here across this area. We'll continue to watch that. We could be seeing some activity uh, along this segment here in the uh, near future as well. Over here across the uh, Andaman Sea area couple smaller earthquakes, including a 5.7 here in the uh, Bay of Beng uh, Bengal area, just prior to the subduction zone. Uh, keep an eye on this area. Definitely uh, haven't really seen a whole lot of movement up here recently, but uh, it's, I'm sure it's getting primed for some uh, decent sized earthquake activity. And uh, one earthquake way up north around the Jane Marin Mayan area, well north of Iceland, a 4.1 coming in earlier this evening as well. A uh, quick look at the space weather activity. Notice that we're dipping down into the sea flare category. Currently sea, uh, flaring with a C2.1. Not a big deal. We do have a, a bunch of sunspots out here. A mess of them, I would say. And um, there's 3697, 3664, now 3723 out here. Looking a little disorganized here. Still showing some interesting uh, development here uh, on this side of that sunspot. But uh, we'll keep an eye on it. It's been evolving and uh, degrading and evolving and just doing its thing here for three trips around the sun. This is the third time we're looking at the uh, this giant sunspot here on the Earth-facing side of the sun. So we'll continue to keep an eye on that. Uh, overall threat has dropped, though. 5% chance for X-flare. M-flare at 55% chance and C-flare around 99% chance or so. And uh, no major roars in the forecast here, folks, for now. We'll definitely uh, watch these areas of interest, though. Uh, Storm Prediction Center out here. A little noise going on out in the uh, northern plains and portions of the Midwest out here as well tonight. A little 2% chance for tornadoes. Wind and some hail threats appear to be 
the uh, area of interest out here as well. As far as any hurricane development out in the eastern Pacific, doesn't look like anything in the next 48 hours. Central Pacific, uh, including Hawaii, clear as well. Over in the Atlantic, we got uh, maybe some chances here of a cyclone formation in the next 48 hours uh, just off the coast here of the South America region and one well off the coast here of Africa. Uh, that shows a 0% chance, so, but uh, we'll see. Either way, really nothing major in the forecast here. Let's check out the long-term models here, the GFS models, and see what it has to say in terms of devel development out here. Really not seeing anything coming into the Gulf of Mexico, nor the eastern portion of the country. It looks uh, fairly clear in terms of any hurricane potential for now. All right, folks, um, seismograph stations out here. Looks like we lost a Mendocino station. Not for sure why. But uh, I'll check back on that, see if, uh, see if it doesn't restart by itself, hopefully. Uh, either way, a little bit of activity on the San Juan Batista area. A couple small spikes of an earthquake. Um, you know, nothing major going on right now, folks. But uh, as always, we got to be vigilant and uh, keep an eye on uh, what's going on out here around the world and locally here in California. Uh, 2.1, again, the latest earthquake here. Just west here of the Salton Sea area. One earthquake uh, was on the San Andreas Fault here, the southern segment from last night, but I uh, really haven't seen anything stir back up there uh, today in that region. All right, folks, have a good night. I'm out of here. Just wanted to keep this a real quick, short update. We'll catch you guys back out here in the morning for the uh, Wednesday morning update. Take care, folks. Have a good night.